Hi there, it's me again, Yolavanya. We are continuing our discussion on Thiruvarut Payan, verse number 53. Seivanum, Seivinayum, Seir Payanum, Seir Pavanum, Weevan Ulan Yendru Unar. I'm repeating it once again. Seivanum, Seivinayum, Seir Payanum, Seir Pavanum, Weevan Ulan Yendru Unar. As in, today's verse talks about the five syllable mantra which is called as namasivaya or sivaya nama one thing that we have to remember while uttering the mantra is it should be pronounced in a proper manner because mantras have a medicinal value medicinal effect emotional effect and spiritual effect when it is uttered correctly we are not supposed to pronounce it as namashivaya that is a wrong pronunciation Shivaya Nama is also a wrong pronunciation. It is Sivaya Nama. Also, we are not supposed to say this as Sivaya Nama Ha or Sivaya Nama Ka. Those are not mantras. Just for fun, probably it sounds good. It sounds a little bit attractive or whatever. It sounds a little bit interesting. So probably we can just pronounce it for fun sake, but it will not give us the effect that it is intended for. If you want the intended benefit, we need to pronounce it correctly because all these are mantras. Mantras are very, very effective. Profound mantra is Namasivaya or Sivaya Nama. Now, one thing we need to remember is because of the audio cassettes, the commercial audio cassettes, when they are pronouncing it, they are doing, they are saying it as Sivaya Nama. Ha. But that is not the right pronunciation. For songs, probably it is okay. But when it comes to mantra, we need to pronounce it correctly. Okay, now let's look at this. What do you mean by Sivaya Nama or Nama Sivaya? We have already discussed about this in Unmai Vilakkam. These five letters are not just letters. These are words. It's not just a symbolic representation. These means some serious uh, things in this world. C stands for Shiva, which is the Almighty, which is the God, which is Padi. So when you talk about Va, it is the grace. So C is Almighty, Va is the grace, Ya is life, soul. So something like this. You, you have already seen this. I'm not getting into the details. So C, Va, Ya, Nam, right? All these are five uh, words not just letters that is something we need to remember today's verse verse 53 is actually a representation of the five letter syllable uh, which is sivaya nama let's look at the uh, look at the verse once again it says there are few things that you need to realize that it is their existence the existence of certain things that we need to know certain elements that we need to know certain uh, concepts that we need to know what are those the first one is the soul the soul is the one who is going to do perform the action so the action performer performer is one the second one is what are they doing so they are doing performing an action right so performing an act is the second so performer is the first one performing an act is the second one because of the act there is an effect as we said already cause and effect so because of the act we are ending up with a cause we are ending up with an effect now you look at it the third one is the effect so we already see we have seen three things performer the action that we are doing and because of the action we are uh, getting into an effect now what is the work of the Almighty? His work is the most difficult work in this world. What he's doing is he is identifying the right effect and attaching it with the right soul. In our belief, uh, the, the old traditional Vedic beliefs, we usually say that whenever I do something, it will affect my child, my children rather or whatever my parents did, it will have an effect on me. But that is, that is a humbug story according to Saiva Siddhantam. 
because Saiva Siddhanta is very very clear and it has got a lot more logical approach for that. If I say whatever my parents did and that is coming on me, that is dawning on me, the concept of karma it's it's getting it's, it's getting a bit questionable. Second one is in this birth they are my parents, but previous birth I don't know whether I was their parent or they were my parents or what what was our relationship. We don't know. In this birth they are our parents. That's it. So if you look at it, what is God's work? What is Almighty's work? Is very simple. He is relating the soul with some or, or rather all the other people who can give us the intended, uh, uh, intended uh, 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 kind of uh, reflection or the effect that we have already gone through. So basically if I had to go through certain sorrow, what is the nature of sorrow? He will try to link with such kind of people so that I'm realizing the benefit of my own karma. So the karma is not given to us by someone. It is our own whatever we did in all our previous births. So that is what the, the, the fourth one talks about. Ser Pavanum, which means the person who is actually attaching the soul with the right karma or the effect of the karma rather. So all these are existing. So one thing we need to remember is all these are permanent, all these are there, all these are permanently existing in this earth. That is what verse 53 talks about. I'll come back again with the next verse very soon. Until then, bye-bye.